Hello Cinnamon Bun, welcome to my March bullet journal setup. This month I'm going for a coffee theme and the design I'm doing on my cover page is based on these glass mugs that Ross and I got for Christmas and I've just got tea in one of them up there in the corner. I also got myself a new Micron Fineliner which is so much better than the Biro type pen that I was using before so I thought I'd go monochrome and do the whole spread with just this pen. <laughs> So I'm really simplifying my monthly overview for March. In the past, I've always been able to get away with a monthly overview and then just my daily spreads, but at the moment I'm doing so much scheduling week to week that I really need a weekly spread. And so actually this monthly overview can be less detailed. <music> And I'm just doing my lists as normal this month. Reply is to note every message that I need to respond to, whether it's a text, an email, a tweet or whatever. And hearth is where I keep all the to-dos that are personal or kind of about the household. Spend is a really simple expenses list where I track all my personal spending that's over and above my living costs. And I'll explain the work list later because I fill out a bit more. Next, I'm doing a brand new circular household chores tracker. Now I got the idea from another video, so I will link that in the description if you would like to see another version of it. Um, I am not very good at keeping up with this stuff. I've been using an app called Unfuck Your Habitat, which has been really helpful, but it's not quite been enough. Um, so the idea here is that I can fill in a box for every task. And if I manage to check every box, I'll give myself a big old reward. And honestly, I see other people doing these kinds of trackers a lot and they seem to sweep the floors and do the laundry every single day and my mind is just blown by that. Um, I tried to start with a really achievable list here, but we'll see how I get on. Um, doing the dishes every single day still seems a little bit alien to me. Sorry, cut the top off of this bit, but luckily you're not missing much, it's just a really simple notes section. And this is my weekly spread for the first week of March. I am really struggling to find a weekly spread which works for me to be honest. I prefer vertical layouts, but fitting all seven days vertically is tough, and my schedule is over seven days, not just Monday to Friday, so I really need all those seven days. Um, so I'm trying something new, we'll see how it goes. Um, I left that extra box blank, but I'll definitely be using it for notes or tasks for next week, weekly goals or something similar. The little symbols that I'm drawing are to represent the morning, afternoon and evening so that I can block out what exactly I'll be doing or working on that day. Um, and so the morning is a sun, afternoon is a half sun and evening is a moon. Last month I didn't use this work tracker list at all because I track my work time for each project in the place where I organise that project. Um, but I really would like an overview of what I've been doing um, for the month rather than just having them scattered throughout different notebooks and things. So here I'm just writing the different projects or jobs and putting a space for each week of March where I'll write in the hours that I worked that week on that project. 
And while I do really love working with this Micron Fineliner, I just thought I actually don't really like it being monochrome, I kind of miss colour, so I went back and added some details in turquoise. After that I rubbed out all the pencil and cleaned up a few mistakes that I made, and finally here is the flip through. If you liked this video, be sure to like and subscribe. As always, I'm Rachel Stephen, novelist, YouTuber, Woodland Helbitch, and I'll see you soon. Take care.